Okay, let's make this audio reactive visualization in touch design. Let's drag in an audio file. Here's my audio file right here. I'm just going to drag and drop that into touch designer. Now in the palette, I'm going to go to the audio analysis palette item. Now let's drag audio analysis to the right of our audio file, just like that. Connect your audio file to the audio analysis. Press tab on the keyboard to add a new operator. Click on the chop category and click on null and drop a null just to the right of audio analysis. Connect that to audio analysis. Now in this null, we can see all of the names of the channels that our audio analysis operator is getting. Press tab on the keyboard to add a new operator and in the chops category, click on select and then drop select to the right of null. Now let's add a new operator and in the chops category, just click on lag, drop lag somewhere to the right of the select operator. Now let's add another new operator and in the chops category, just click on math and drop math to the right of lag. Now let's connect all these operators together. Now let's copy and paste a couple of these operators so that we have operators for every channel. I'm just gonna copy and paste these three operators below themselves. And we have nine channels in our audio analysis. So I'm just gonna continue copy and pasting these three operators until we have enough for each of the nine channels. There we have six, now we have nine. So now we have nine sets of operators, one for each of our channels that's coming from our audio analysis. Now let's go to our first select operator. So click on that and then type in the name of the first channel that's coming from our audio analysis, which is low. So in the parameters for our select operator under channel names, just change that asterisk to the word low and hit enter. And now this select operator is selecting only the low channel from our audio analysis. Do the same thing with the remaining select operators. So for the second select operator, I'm going to enter the word mid under channel name. Now we have our mid, now we have high, kick detection, a snare detection, rhythm, a spectral centroid, we have FMP, we have SMP. Just to quickly review, now our select operators are getting the low channel, the mid channel, the high channel, kick detection, snare detection, rhythm, spectral centroid, FMP, and SMP. Now it's time to add some geometry to our project so that the signals coming from our audio analysis can actually act on the geometry and change the shape. So press tab on the keyboard, go to the SOP category, and then click on sphere. Drop sphere somewhere to the right of the last operator that's coming from our audio channels. Now right click on the output of our sphere, go to the comp tab, and then click on geometry. And now place geometry somewhere to the right of the sphere. Now let's press tab, click on camera, drop that somewhere above our geo, press tab again, click on light, drop light somewhere near our camera, press tab again, go to the top category, and click on render. Now drop render somewhere near your light and your camera. Now press the display button on the render operator that we just dropped. Now we can see the sphere in the background of our project. I'm gonna close the palette to give us a little bit more working room. Now let's click on the sphere to select that. Now click the viewer active button on the math operator that is connected to our SMP channel. So just click that viewer active button. Now we're gonna drag and drop the SMP math operator onto the radius parameter of our sphere. So click on the SMP math operator, drag that and drop it onto the word radius of our sphere. Click on export chop. Now the radius of our sphere is going to react to whatever the SMP channel is being output. And this SMP channel and the FMP channel are basically momentum. It's like the momentum of the audio file. So as the momentum builds up in the audio file, the SMP value will get bigger. So the radius of our sphere will get bigger as the momentum builds up in our audio file. Now let's add a new operator in between our sphere and our geometry so that we can add some more variation in the surface of our sphere. So just right click on that line in between sphere and geometry. Click Insert Operator, and in the SOP category, just click on Fractal, and drop Fractal in between Sphere and Geometry. Now make sure the Fractal Operator is selected, then click on the Viewer Active button of one of the audio channels, such as the Mid channel. Now we're gonna drag and drop that channel that we just clicked the Viewer Active button on. We're gonna drag and drop that 
onto the parameter of our fractal operator into the scale parameter. So click on the audio channel, drag that and drop that onto the scale parameter of our fractal operator, and then click on export chop. And if you look at the numerical value that's being reported in this mid channel, it's not really getting much further above 0.3 or something like that. So let's use the math operator to increase the value that's coming from this mid channel. So I'm gonna click on the viewer active button so that we can modify the parameters of this math operator. Now click on that mid channel math operator and in the parameters of this mid channel math operator in the mult add tab, you can increase any of these three values here to increase the value of the signal that is being reported in that mid channel. I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag the multiply parameter and as we click and drag this multiply parameter, you should see the animation in the background. You'll see that fractal operator acting more severely on that sphere. And if that's not quite enough, we can add some to the pre-add or the post-add parameters. And that's really the general way to get audio to change parameters of anything in Touch Designer. And by the way, if you wanna hear the audio that is coming out, just add a new operator and in the chop category, click on audio device out, drop that somewhere near our audio file and connect the output of our audio file to the input of audio device out, just like that. And now if you wanna mute that audio device out, just click on the bypass button of that audio operator. Now let's make our audio reactive visualization a little bit more interesting by adding a texture or a surface onto our geometry. So add a new operator, and in the materials category, just click on Fong, drop Fong somewhere near Geo. Now add another new operator, go to the top category, and click on constant. And now drop constant somewhere near Fong. Let's drag and drop constant onto Fong. Click on color map. Now drag and drop Fong onto Geo. Click on material. Now let's click on the constant operator so we can change the color of that. In the parameters of the constant operator, just click on the white square next to the word color and click on any color you want. And now you can see our animation is the color of whatever we just selected. One other thing that I like to do in this part of the project is drag and drop in an image file. Let's do that right now. I'm just gonna drag and drop in this texture image file, just like this. Now I'm gonna drag and drop that image file onto the Fong and then click on color map. Now our animation has the texture of whatever image file we dragged and dropped into Touch Designer. If the animation looks a little bit dark, you should be able to click on the emit parameter of the Fong and increase the value of that to make the animation a little bit brighter. So I just changed the emit parameter of the Fong to about 0.3 and it made our animation quite a bit brighter. Now let's add a black background to our animation. Right click on the output of our render operator and in the top category, just click on transform, drop transform somewhere to the right of render. And in the background color parameter of our transform, change the value of the fourth box from zero to one and turn on the switch that says comp over background color. Now turn off the display switch on our render operator and turn on the display switch for our transform operator. And now our animation has a black background. So that's about it for this Touch Designer project. There's tons of stuff that you can do from this point, but I really just wanted to show you a basic way to get this kind of setup working. So at this point, you can just mess with uh, the parameters that are coming from our audio analysis and try different parameters in the sphere operator or any other operator that is changing the look and feel of our visualization.